Okay, so I kind of want to show you how you can play uh, your old DOS games on Windows 10. Um, so we'll see if we can play one of those games. So first thing, uh, you go to uh, DOSBox.com and you download DOSBox and install it. It's very simple, self-explanatory. So they have different versions here depending on your operating system. And once you get that installed on your C drive, it'll install by default install on your C drive in program files DOSBox. You might want to make a shortcut to this folder or at least know where it is because sometimes you may need to uh, edit the configuration. There also is a manual provided in here. Uh, the manual it provides you with all the, the basic steps to get it going. We'll kind of walk through some of them. This options.bat, yes, that's the one you click. If you click options.bat, that's what I was trying to remember. It'll bring up this configuration file. Uh, sometimes you might need to edit this for certain games to work right or just for your preference. Like you can. Uh, change the window resolution because since DOSBox, most DOSBox games were made in low resolution as you'll see when I start DOSBox up the window is very small on my monitor you can either do full screen or you can just make it bigger if you care to then the next thing you want to do is create a folder for your DOS programs I recommend just doing a, a folder called DOS progs on your C drive because that's where um, the instructions given to that as an example so you can just follow around with the instructions if you need to and you don't have to rem remember a separate location where you put your programs so um, oh, one more thing let's see where do I have on my uh, yeah, I have my I got to check my DVD drives on H. I need to check that real quick so I can uh, do my setup. Okay, so that's that. We'll go and open DOSBox. As you can see, like I said, it's a small window. So the first step is you need to mount your drives, which is in the instructions, but I'll type it up here. Mount C. C colon backslash DOS progs backslash so it says drive C is mounted as local directory DOS progs and then mount D this is going to be for my CD ROM drive mine was H so you need to look and see what yours is if the game you want to install or use use the CD ROM if you don't need your CD-ROM drive, then you don't have to do this. I'm just showing this in case you do. This will be enough um, to mount most CD-ROM drives to work fine. If you have problems, type intro, which will go through a bunch of dialogues. It will give you some tips on how to do that. Another helpful file that comes up too. Um, hold on, let me this off screen so I can look in my private folders here uh, let's see if I think I took the key yes so there you go DOS box keys this is a screenshot but it's in the, that intro section if you type intro you click in here a couple times it goes through you through that you might want to take some screenshots yourself for reference but uh, see this will give you uh, Increase frame skip, decrease frame skip. These are probably the two most often you use. Oh, not not frame skip. I mean uh, cycles. Yes, cycles. Some some games you may have to increase cycles or decrease cycles if they're running too fast or they're running too slow. Control F11, Control F12. Those would be important to know. All right. So now that we got our drives mounted, let's um, go to our C drive. Oops get back in the window 
So now I'm in the C drive. So now, if you're not familiar with DOS, you use the uh, command CD to change directory. So CD DOS progs. And apparently I mounted it wrong. Let's see what's going on here. Unable to change to DOS progs. Oh, that's because I mounted it as DOS progs. So that's my error not thinking of it. Because he, um, right here, I already mounted DOS progs as my C drive. So what I actually need to do then, because going to DOS progs, is we're going to try this game I downloaded. I've never played it before. I downloaded it from Am Abandonia. And it's called Delirium. So we need to do, get back in the window, CD. Uh, delirium. As you know, so DOS isn't um, case sensitive. Then to run it, most off, I think I gotta do delirium again. Gotta, sorry about that. Delirium. And if I remember my DOS commands properly, we can even do this from DOSBox, I believe. No. DIR four slash p yeah there we go so that will give you um all the files in this directory and sometimes you might have to run a bat file or maybe setup file just like you know real DOS before you can use the game but let's see what happens if we just do delirium dot exe <laughs> And so it's playing. We lost um, sound. I mean, oops. Right now I'm increasing the cycles to see because we were stuttering a little bit. So I increased the cycles to 10,000 to see if that helps. So. And it seems I seem to lose sound when I adjust it with my um adjust my volume. I'm not sure why that would be, but yeah. So I mean, DOS box it's not perfect. Just like I remember my experiences with real DOS, I had many problems sometimes getting games to run. Let me, all right, so I just try. Let's see. So this is. A, an adventure game. So let me see if I can exit out of here. I want to try to um uh, I want to try retry this without uh, um there we go yes I want to retry it with. Jeez, I'm gonna try that with my volume low so I don't have to adjust it, see if that's the problem. No, I didn't touch my volume and it still cut out, but uh, there's probably a solution to this if you Google it. But anyways, um, as you can see, the game is running in Windows 10, which natively this game would not run at all without DOSBox. And like I said, if you Google Delirium, DOSBox, no sound, I would be willing to bet you there's a solution to this problem. But I just want to introduce you to DOSBox and sort of get you started there. And yes, I want to quit. Exit. Type XL, exit DOS box, and that's all I have for this video.